millions of people losing their homes, what can we do or what can they do to empower themselves to stop themselves from losing their homes so that they don't have to go to court after they lost their homes and sue the banks? First, check the mortgage, all of the mortgage instruments or the mortgage agreements that they sign. Make sure that everything's right. If there's anything out of place, I mean, the thing with mortgages, it's it's a legal instrument, it's a legal document, and it gives the beneficiary of the deed of trust, which is what the mortgage is in California, it gives them certain legal remedies. So if I'm the mortgagor, if I'm the bank, and I lend you money, and you have to pay, make these payments in accordance with the terms of the agreement, and you fail to do so, then me, the bank, I have legal remedies. I file a notice of sale and get that recorded and that's what starts the ball rolling but it, you still need I think it's three months or at least three months three to six months or something like that before the bank does anything in that time certainly read over all of the the mortgage documents make sure that everything's on the up and up and if there's something anything wrong or if the mortgage was obtained by fraud then you have is that a duck? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> then the homeowner may have a remedy because the actual instrument, the mortgage instrument, was obtained by fraud. So that's the first thing. If, if there's a notice of sale that's already been filed, I mean, that's when we have a problem. And, I mean, th that's what's going on right now all over the place. And it's really difficult to get around it. And I'll tell you that right now. Um, so how do they do it in a non-judicial state? I mean, aren't these corporations supposed to file? They have to file a complaint for foreclosure most of the time. A complaint? With, the, with, the, ban with the court. And does the court step in? Generally, that's how it works. When you file a complaint, it goes to a court. It's assigned to a court. The defendant, or in this case the homeowner, has an opportunity to file an answer. And the answer will state different affirmative defenses and it has to go to trial but you know <coughs> in California I think it's a different maybe a different procedure and again and I'm, I'm full disclosure I'm not a foreclosure attorney I'm a litigator I deal with business disputes mostly so I still have to do my due diligence and figure out exactly what the procedure is before I can give any sort of an adequate answer how can we help you I'm actually online right now reading through documents Okay, so we won't hold you up. My camera's going to die, but... Okay. So the minute they get a notice of sale, look through their documents and begin sorting it out. The minute that they know that they're going to be late on a payment, look through the documents before you even get a notice of sale. Now, how do you feel about the banks, which have been accused of rampant corruption, being allowed to continue these foreclosures despite no investigation being complete? I don't like bullies. That's why I became a lawyer. And it, that's what it sounds like they're doing. They're just bullying. They have the resources. They have the money. They have all the manpower. They can hire the best attorneys and paper the poor homeowner to death. What's your name? Victor. Thank you, Victor, You're for welcome. being here and supporting this cause. You got it. Thank you so much.